Guys, welcome to another tutorial video of LMMS, and today we're gonna be looking at how to make professional beats in LMMS. And speaking of professional beats, there are certain things that you must do in order your beats to sound professional, and that is um, that is to say mixing, mastering, and all that. But before all of that, you have to uh, in, in creating your beats, you have to do some things that are going to make your mix stand out and later on in the mastering things will um, sound really professional so here is a project that I'm going to, to be working on it's really empty and what I'm going to do is to uh, pull out um, a, a piano plugin and that's my to go plugin that's Kizon Classic so I think I will go with that one and uh, I'm going to be working in F major you can choose any scale that you want but today I'm going to be working in F major and we're going to be penciling in stuff yeah and yeah so whenever I'm working in any scale I already start with the root note so I'll start with F basically the major So what I'm going to do is to uh, to make sure that this uh, this kind of progression doesn't sound so robotic. So I'm gonna move these ones down, and I'm gonna mess around with the velocity. And I think I'll mess with these velocities too. Uh, yep. And I'll put some saturation on it. Uh, so I'm going to choose another piano sound that uh, will play along with that. And with that piano sound, I'll get it from a sound font. And by the way, you can download all these cool sound fonts from the link in description. A really amazing sound font so what I'm going to do is to copy this over so I'm gonna find some kind of melody on this one So I'm gonna add a saturator on this one. Yeah, that's
yeah uh, it's really sad so i'm going to add some vocal chop on this one uh, And I'm gonna add Ooh, yeah, that sounds nice. What I'm going to do is to export this and bring it back as a sample point. Try to mess with that, but before that, I want to put some some reverse reverse chords. So I'm going to find one short samples here, and I drag them here, and I think that will work. <laughs> So let me first tune this into something. I'll put some G tune on this one. So it's at C, so I'm going to put this one right here. Yeah, so. So, um, on this, so what I'm going to do with the next one is to actually reverse this. I'll put some reverb on there. So I will export this export and I'll call it melody one melody one so yeah so sometimes it's really nice to um work your melodies out and after you ex export them back just to lower the cpu the cpu usage so this is what i'm actually doing bring it right here so let's put some drums on it So with the hi-hat, I'm going to drag in a MIDI. 
so i'll drag in this one and i'll copy this over to to my so I realize whenever you copy whenever you put in midi the bpm kind of drops to 100 so to eliminate this you're gonna have to click here and remove song global automation so that you can put it back to 140 so I just want to say thank you to everybody that's made it to the end of this video please subscribe if you need to this channel and turn the notification on because for our videos like this one thank you guys